Basketball legend LeBron James has now scored one of the most coveted financial achievements, joining the court of America's billionaires. The 37-year-old star built his wealth not only through his NBA earnings, but careful investments in property and businesses, which have given him ownership stakes in valuable franchises. Investing, financial freedom, escaping the matrix, we're all familiar with the words. But how can a person be the most influential, successful billionaire while still playing the hoop? What other investments does the star have other than real estate? Watch till the end to find out. The King, LeBron James, had a difficult childhood, growing up in poverty with his teen mother, who struggled to provide for James and his younger brother, often moving them from place to place in search of stability. But from a young age, James showed natural talent for basketball. He started playing organized basketball when he was just nine years old and quickly became known for his skills on the court. James's success on the court caught the attention of NBA scouts, and he was drafted as the first overall pick in the 2003 NBA draft by his hometown team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. He quickly became one of the league's biggest stars, earning the NBA Rookie of the Year award in his first season and leading the Cavaliers to their first NBA Finals appearance in 2007. James parlayed his $385 million in earnings from the Cleveland Cavaliers, Miami Heat, and Los Angeles Lakers, as well as $900 million in income from endorsements and other business ventures into a portfolio of investments and holdings, according to Forbes. Did you know James rejected offers from Reebok and Adidas to make his first deal with Nike in 2003 at the age of 18? And boy, wasn't that a slam dunk! After more than a decade of success, he struck a lifetime agreement with Nike in late 2015 that pays him tens of millions annually. Over the past years, thanks to Nike and other deals with brands like AT&T, PepsiCo, and Walmart, he was the second highest earning athlete in the world. We can definitely say he just did it. Besides his endorsement deals with other brands, LeBron James is also part owner of Blaze Pizza, a fast-growing pizza chain. He initially invested in the company in 2012, when it was first starting up, and has since grown to 340 locations across 41 states. James has been all in on Blaze Pizza for years, even working behind the counter and hitting the streets to hand out slices to promote the brand. His enthusiasm is understandable, because Forbes has estimated that James' stake of the 10% slice he owns is worth about $30 million. The real key to James' billion-dollar fortune is that he's been more than just a pitch man. James has long structured deals to give him equity in brands he partners with, giving him a cut of the upside instead of a quick paycheck. This has resulted in equity in companies like smart gym maker Tonal and rideshare giant Lyft. Pretty smart, right? Let's get the ball rolling. Next is Spring Hill, the TV and movie production outfit built by James and business partner Maverick Carter, which is valued at $300 million. Last October, it produced the $163 million movie Space Jam A New Legacy, an HBO documentary What's My Name, Muhammad Ali, with a $725 million valuation. James, of course, remains the biggest shareholder, even with the outside investors. Currently, the production company is working on a biopic about James's early days and a remake of the 1990 comedy House Party, slated to hit HBO Max in July. Fun fact! The company Spring Hill is named after the Akron, Ohio apartment complex where James and his mother finally found stability from moving around. How cool and thoughtful is that? You may have heard about James's dream about one day owning an NBA team. That being the case, he's well on his way. The basketball star already counts pro baseball, soccer, and hockey teams among his holdings. James grabbed a minority stake in Liverpool FC, the English Premier League soccer team, in 2011 when his sports marketing business entered into a partnership with Fenway Sports Group. James is estimated to own around 1% of the group, which owns the Boston Red Sox, Fenway Park, and Liverpool, half of Roush Fenway Racing, and 80% of the New England Sports Network. As a true investor, we cannot forget about the real estate he's acquired. James owns at least three properties, worth about $80 million in all. His latest splurge is a 13,000-square-foot Beverly Hills mansion. James paid $36.75 million for the 1930s Hilltop home, which he's already torn down to replace with a mansion of his own. James has long held the goal of becoming a billionaire, telling GQ in 2014 that it was his biggest milestone. I want to maximize my business, he said at the time. And if I happen to get it, if I happen to be a billion-dollar athlete, oh my god, I'm going to be excited. Well, seems like his hard work and investing skills paid off. Isn't that a fascinating story? Let us know in the comments what other celebrity investment story you'd like to know.